Hi, this is Jason Trombach, the conservation and food plot specialist and certified wildlife biologist for Millburn Seeds. I'm back out here today, um, actually about in the same spot where we did the enhancement to a monoculture of switchgrass. And if you remember right, this area is kind of lightly disc, sprayed with plateau, roundup and stuff. And it's basically with black out here. So the results we got for the first year was unbelievable. Um, if you remember, we put some really diverse mix of flowers. We added some more uh, warm season grasses to it. And everything we plant is basically represented out here. And compared to what this was, being a really thick, you know, basically maybe at best winter habitat. Now we've really opened up the understory. You know, we added some big blue and some different shorter natives to it. So this area compared to what it was is extremely better. I mean, it serves as nesting cover. It serves as winter cover, you know, some good brood cover. There's all kinds of bugs out here yet. So I think what we did out here is improve this area dramatically by just doing some little tweaks to um, the site prep. And, you know, like you can see from the first year behind me what everything looks like. You know, this is some really great results and something anybody can do if they're looking to enhance their wildlife habitat they have on their land. You can see, and we can show you over here what, uh, what the project base looked like, because over on this other side we didn't do the enhancement. And you can see how thick that is compared to how open this understory is, providing some really good nesting cover. Yeah, we're just going to take a walk over to uh, what this project looked like before to the monoculture switch, and maybe point out a few more of the flowers you might run across on the way over there too. This is the bull thistle we planted. I'm joking. That's a weed. <laughs> so this is a fire break we put in when he did this project. So now he'd be able to burn these kind of separately at different times. This one now he's going to be geared towards more of a nesting cover. Now this monoculture switch is going to be more geared towards the winter cover. So you put a fire breaker here, alfalfa and sand foyan. That you can use now for um, instead of discing and fire breaks, you can have a permanent fire break in here to use when he's burning these sites in the spring. What I wanted to show you here is actually this is a uh, the monoculture switchgrass. So this is basically what we started off with before we did all the site prep with light discing and chemicals and stuff like that. So you can see it's a, a really good stand of switchgrass, really thick. This is really good winter cover but not ideal for nesting cover. You can see the, the understory down here is extremely thick. Even though he burns us every few years, the thatch up here is really built up, you know, really fast. So you can imagine what a little small pheasant chick would never be able to move around in this understory, where over there, the understory basically opened up quite a bit. You got a lot more flowering, blooming plants who are attracting the insects for the, for the chicks. And you can see over here, there's basically, there's no insects. So, what we have here is this is a really good winter cover. That's a really good nesting cover. And now he kind of has the, the best of both worlds for the, for the chicks and stuff like that to survive through the summer. And this is a good winter cover for them to survive through the, the harsh winters we have here in South Dakota. So just want to kind of show you what we uh, started off with and then what it looks like six months later.